Hey, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. I am sitting here calling in Archangel Michael, asking him to wrap his protection around you and around me while I go through and do this reading. Um, last card, 22, 23, Aquarius. Oh, look how beautiful. Isn't it lovely? All right, let's do our twin flame reading for Aquarius. I was also asking Metatron to clear any chakras that may need to be cleared during this time as we go through and do the reading. It's there. All you have to do is be willing to accept the healing that Archangel Metatron is trying to give you during this time. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Let's do the twin flame reading for Aquarius. And show the world the real you. It's a common theme. <laughs> Showed up in almost every single one of the readings today. Emotions are running high. I feel that. It's time to release negativity. One, two, three. Things are moving forward. Okay, and the energy's gaining momentum, and this is what's holding up. Luck is on your side. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, Leo and Aquarius and Scorpio has been showing up in a lot of the readings today. Okay, 1.44 on my clock. Let's see where Divine Feminine's at. For Aquarius, let's see where Divine Feminine's at. Eight of Wands, Divine Feminine's ready to go, right? Eight of Wands is all about communication, but, um, you know, in this deck, the way I see the Eight of Wands is really grounding in the light. So Divine Feminine's really embodying a lot of that light energy, okay? Let's see where Divine Masculine's at. 222, let's see where Divine Masculine's at. Page of Swords. Okay. Gonna have to get a little bit more details on that one. Let's see, how's Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine seeing the relationship? Union, four of ones, okay? Let's see if they're on the same page. No pun intended. <laughs> Since Divine Masculine got the Page of Swords. Let's see, how's Divine Feminine seeing the relationship? Five of Swords, like a battlefield. Okay, it definitely could feel like that. Three, one, three on my clock. How's Divine Masculine seeing the relationship? Page of Cups. Okay. Young Love. Young Love. Okay, I got two pages. Okay, might need to release this being a battlefield. Okay, it could be a battlefield in the mind because swords are all about how we how we talk about ourselves, right? Okay, messages from Divine Feminine's Higher Self. Messages from Divine Feminine's. Divine Feminine's, you know, got the magic, got the ability to manifest and bring in what Divine Feminine wants. Okay, you need to let go of that negative self-talk. You need to let go of the battle. You need to let go of the narcissist template. Okay, messages from Divine Masculine's higher self. Devil, this has shown up a lot today. Okay, there could be a karmic that's uh, keeping this union from taking place. Okay, might need to be let go of Divine Masculine. Okay, Divine Masculine could be a Capricorn. What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen with Divine Feminine? What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen? And it's 6.06. 
what's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen. Hang man. Okay, you feel stuck, suspended, right? Going within. Finding the answers that you're seeking by going within, okay? Divine masculine, what's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen? Strength. Strength trumps the devil, okay? It's the only card in the deck that does so, okay? So divine masculine, you have the power to trump the karma that's going on. You have the power to trump the devil, right? This overcomes this. Okay. All right. Clarify the Five of Swords, please. Clarify the Five of Swords, please. Not of Swords. Okay. Could be some anger, some aggression. Clarify Full Moon and Scorpio, please. Um, all of this is going to be Third Eye Chakra. Okay, let go of anything that is not in line with the, div the divine destined path that you're meant to be walking in. If it does not bring you pure joy, okay, let it go, let it flow. So whatever is meant to come into your life can come in, okay? We have to be able to make room for our blessings. And if we're not making room for our blessings, how will the person that we're trying to manifest and bring into our experience, our reality, how are they ever going to show up? You have to clear the way. You have to clear the negative karma out, right? Do some healing work with the angels. Release any karmic contracts. Remove negative cords. Remove them. Okay, I do not like cutting because cutting is kind of like cutting the grass. You got to cut the grass once a week, right? Because it grows back. But if you go in and you remove it from the root, you remove the root of the problem, right? So if we cut cords, you're leaving the root still attached. So I like to go through. I like to remove them. If you need help removing cords, let me know. My website's below. Okay, can we clarify the devil, please? Clarify. Okay. Clarify the devil, please. Clarify the devil. Okay, this is going to be connected to somebody at work. Okay, um, it's going to be a work connection, maybe someone you fell in love with at work. Okay, okay, give me one more, please. someone that you work with, all right, that's going to be good karma because I get temperance with this. Okay, could be a Sag, Capricorn Sag. I got Leo, Capricorn Sag, Pisces. Okay, definitely let go of what's not serving you. Let go of toxic people, okay? that's hurt you in the past. Let go of pain, aggression. Aggression is going to be a, a big one. And what's, I just looked over, what's holding all this up is going to be judgment. Okay. Ba -ba -da -da! The call's being made. We've got to clear these people out. Karma is coming back faster. Okay. So the faster that we go through the lessons, we clear that energy out. The faster that what's meant to come in is going to be able to come in. All right. Aquarius, 
Love you guys. If this reading resonated and you would like to schedule a reading with me, my website's below, 1001. Have a beautiful day. Bye.